Hey guys, it's Kids Coding Playground here, and today we're back for another video. Since tomorrow is July 4th, we will be making a firework display game in Scratch. The player can click anywhere on the screen and a rocket will shoot up in the sky and explode into a nice firework display. You can find this game idea in a book called Coding Projects in Scratch. You can check out that book, that's pretty cool too. You can also check out the really cool games. So, July 4th fireworks. We will be learning these following concepts in Scratch. Broadcasting messages, custom sprites, timer, loops, color effects, and variable for this sprite only. So I'm going to show you the demo for the game. Let's make this larger. larger. As you can see, you start out with, um, a, um, we drew this backdrop. And we also drew the rocket. As you can see, it has like a... It shoots out and it has a bunch of colors. It's like a real firework. Your rocket will your um the rocket will follow your mouse pointer. As you can see, you can actually make a bunch of fireworks. Okay, so let's get straight into the um game. Before I start, please like, share. And subscribe to our YouTube channel and comments in the cops comment section below to um, see what games you want to come out so let's make a new project as you can see there's a scratch cat in the beginning always so we can delete that sprite we don't need it you can um, you can choose your backdrop you can choose your backdrop you, you can do like a city backdrop like um, yeah, these backdrops, but our, my, we drew one, um, right here. So as you can see, there it is, um, we drew this one. So you can also find some fireworks. Um, there's some Google searches on fireworks, you can look at their PNG. As you can see right here, there's a bunch of... Um, you can search up rocket firework PNG. There's a bunch of things you can use and you can click on the tools button You can click on transparent. So to show you all the transparent um, uh, Fireworks that are tr actually transparent because some are not transparent. So anyways, um Let's get back to the game. We can just rename this first to July or Fireworks and we, we let's all let's take all my all my stuff let's open the backpack so i have i already have a sprite i we drew this sprite the rocket sprite um and we also have to make the sparkle sprite i already have one we can paint one so i'm gonna paint uh uh i'm gonna paint one show you a demonstration as you can see, you can use any color you want, but I'm gonna use green. So that's like uh, that's the same color as my normal one. You gotta turn the outline off, um, and then you gotta use a circle, and then try to make a five by five, cause um, the sparkle is five by five too. And you can zoom in. You can um, make it smaller or bigger with the as you can see it's 13 times by 14 so you have to make it five by five so as you can see you can use the mouse tool make it smaller it's about nine nine by nine seven by seven six by six Five by five. As you can see, um, we already have one up. We already have one in my backpack. I'm actually going to use this sprite. Um, I'm going to name it Sparkles. Uh, we can delete this one. So I'm going to use this one. Sparkles. So we got to make a variable, and, and we have to call it speed. And you gotta click for this sprite only, not for all sprites like you would normally do, but for this sprite only. So we are we have our speed, 
speed um the variable. So so we're gonna so as you can see when when you shoot the firework there's there's gonna be like a glow for a, uh like a flash for like but for like a point one second. So as you can see, you can name that to flash. You can rename that to flash. Let's shoot it back to okay, first. So I'm gonna work on the sparkle sprite first. So as you can see, the sparkle sprite when it starts, it'll always hide. It'll always hide. Um, in the beginning. It will repeat 300 times. It'll create 300 clones of itself. And then it'll broadcast red. So we have to work on the rocket. The rocket doesn't have that much code. So when I receive ready, uh, it'll go forever. It will wait until, let's see where the wait until is. Wait until the mouse is down. So wherever your mouse is, it will go to your mouse. Mouse is down. So, and it'll go to, yes, take that. So negative 180 is all the way in the bottom. So it'll fly to your mouse or else if you do mouse a Y for the Y, it'll spawn right where your mouse is. So we have to do mouse X. It'll show. It'll play sound, any sound you want. I'm going to play the sound. Oh, I already have it. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'll play the sound. Go. It'll glide to your, um, wherever your mouse is. It'll glide one second. Glide one second to, to your mouse X. Mouse X and mouse Y. And it will hide. It'll broadcast a new message called Let's go to the sparkle spring. So we also have to work on our background because it's a flash. So when I receive bang, we'll switch the backdrop to flash for 0.1 seconds. So it's, we need 0 0.1 seconds. So it'll switch the backdrop to flash for 0.1 seconds. And it'll switch back to the night. A backdrop. As you can see, we didn't do the sparkles yet. You can see it'll make like a flash of the firework. So this is also pretty cool, but the sparkles is gonna make it even cooler. So the sparkles. So when I receive, oh no, wrong. This is sparkles. When I receive bang, um, it'll set the speed. To pick random. Zero point one to three. So it'll pick random how fast the firework should be. It will set ghost. Set ghost or set ghost? Set color effect. Set ghost effect to zero, so you can see it. Um and you need a pen. So you get, there's some extra blocks you can take like video sensing, text to speech, translate. There's a bunch of things you can take, but you need pen for this one. Um, and you have to put the pen, uh, you also have to put the, let's take the pen up right here. So you can change the color effect to 25 to make it like a glow. And I'll put pen up. And then you gotta go to the rocket 
rocket and it'll put pen down. It's like you'll draw like the lines. So you need a point in direction. It'll pick random from negative 180 to positive 180. And it'll show. Again, we'll reset the timer. You need the timer to make like it look better. So you need the reset timer right here because it's always going. As you can see, if you if I turn on the timer, it's always going. So I've been playing this for 160 seconds. So um, the timer is always there. So I got reset the timer each time you shoot up the rocket. It'll repeat 50 times. Repeat 50 times and it will move speed steps. So, how quick it'd be. It will change the Y by. Uh, you need minus speed, not speed, zero. You put a zero right here. And by since a timer, so you need another repeat fifty. You need another repeat fifty. Also has to move speed steps, and this repeat fifty is to make the sparkle slow down and disappear. So and it'll also change the ghost effect. You also need a set speed in front of the uh, put move speed steps. Set speed to divide. No, no, I'm multiply. Um, speed by zero point nine. So change the ghost effect. Ghost effect by pick random one to three. So it will um, disappear or it will like fade. So and then if it does not fade away, it will hide and erase everything. Show that's a show. Hide and erase all. So we're not done with the sparkle sprite yet. So let's try it out. We aren't that we aren't done with the sparkle sprite yet. As you can see, the um, fireworks doesn't have that much color. As usual, so let's take out the speed thing. So when I receive bang, when I receive bang, it will repeat a hundred times, hundred times, and it will change the color effect. Bye. So let's see. Let's see it now. So with this, it has a little bit more color. As you can see, it's like as you can see, it's like making more color than usual. As you can see, like the sparkles right here are changing color, but that's not enough color. We can also add when I receive bang, it will set the color effect to. Hick random negative a hundred to a hundred. So as you can see, uh, you see all this color around here. So I 
please like, share, and subscribe like I told you earlier. And put in the comment section what you want to see next. Um, have a great day, everyone. And we're done for the day. And happy July 4th.